coming at you with a very fun, different video. I mean, I guess it's not super different, but I just wanted to talk to you about some of the ColourPop goodies I bought the other day when they launched their new, it was like a, I guess you could say it was like a Valentine's Day collection or something, but they're so amazing. I'm like, honest to God, obsessed, obsessed. Like, someone needs to help me. Also, I just wanted to quickly share with you some things that I've been doing with my skin. So, like a video or two ago, my skin was breaking out really bad right here. Like, it was so bad. It was like a rash. I tried the new Mario Badesco. It was like, do the skin analysis thing. That's what I did. And I had an a reaction to it, I guess. Maybe my skin's a little more sensitive than I thought. So I thought, why not go find what would make the skin better? I was looking up products and then I totally forgot about Lush. I forgot about Lush. How do you forget about Lush? I was like, oh my god, I'm in the fucking mall. I need to buy it. So I went to Lush and I talked to the nicest woman um, in the Syracuse location. I can't remember her name, but if I do, I'll fucking tell you who it is. She was so sweet. She let me try the product. She even gave me like a bunch of samples, which was so, so nice because I'd rather try samples of a product than go and buy it and not it not work for me. So there's a couple things that I got because. I didn't want to spend the full, you know, for the full price of the thing, it's not going to work. But this is the Celestial Moisturizer. It's the almond, it's, it's almond moisturizer. It smells just like almonds, it's so good. I've used like the whole thing. But it's honestly so great. Like my skin feels so soft and I, I just love it. It's not um, like an oily moisturizer. I don't feel sticky or anything like that, which I really like. It sucks right into my skin. And I'm definitely 100% about to buy the full size product. The other one I got was, she let me try that too. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was Dark Angels or something like that. It's their charcoal, it's like a scrub. It's really good, but it's really messy. So I have a little bottle in my shower. I just use it in there. It's the Deep Cleansing Complexion Bar for normal to oily skin. It looks like this. I just, I just washed my face. So. It literally reminds me of the smell of black licorice. I don't really like black licorice, but like this smells really good and it works amazing. Yeah, I just wet this. Well, actually I wet my face and then I wet this um, little charcoal so far and I literally just scrubbed my face. And my skin has been, my skin has gotten so much better. Like in the, in just the two weeks maybe that I've been using it, my skin has changed 100% and I don't think I've ever had that problem or it's not, not problem. I don't think I've ever had that reaction to any product. I feel like usually my skin kind of like breaks out a lot, but literally like this is normal right here. That always happens to me, but this is cleared up all here. I cannot even say how much I am obsessed with this shit. Okay. It's so good. Okay. Moving on to something. The new stuff I got and I'm just going to swatch it for you and then we'll just do we use the products for our face. And if you have the products, you can do the same thing with me. This is beautiful, beautiful. Pretty much palette, it's so cute. That is the front, pretty much pigment palette. And then when you open it, oh, how can you not love this? I am just saying like, this is beautiful. I cannot get an, like, I don't know what it is lately, but I'm just gonna go through and swatch. I'm gonna swatch them on my arm for you. So this shade is called Yabish. <laughs> it's a soft champagne, beautiful color. So this color is called OTP, Once Repair. It's a satin pink with a little bit of a lavender undertone in it. The next shade is called Neither Do I. It's a matte burgundy shade. It's really perfect for smoky eyes, so gorgeous. This one is called NVM. It's a matte muted mauve. The next shade is called Cool It. It's a pressed powder pigment. It's a deep, deep fuchsia, so gorgeous. And then the last color is called It Me. <laughs> it's a metallic bronzy pink champagne color, gorgeous. Then this is all of them together. It's like the perfect palette for everyday colors. So as you can see, these colors are amazing. I like the size of these. And I have actually another ColourPop order coming in the mail in the next couple days. Because 
I have a fucking problem. I literally can't stop buying ColourPop. It's insanity. It's insanity. It's insanity. But like, I'm not gonna complain about it because I love ColourPop, so it's fine. The next thing we're gonna swatch. This highlight is amazing. It's literally the best highlight I've ever seen. So it's called Spellbound. Do you see the purple sparkly duo chrome amazingness that this highlighter is? Okay, okay, let me just show you. First of all, yes honey. It's literally like I'm rubbing like bliss onto my hand. Like I, this is like so pretty. I cannot get enough of this. How gorgeous is that? Holy shit. So this is Spellbound. It's got a purple flip with a champagne undertone. And it's kind of like got a blue hue into it as well. But it's just like, oh, it's heaven in a jar. And then this is just the highlight right here in natural lighting. Still looking fierce as ever. The ColourPop Supernova Shadow. I just need you guys to see, first of all, the packaging. Right, like that is the cutest packaging I've ever seen. For eyeshadow. These are amazing. So this shade is called Over Again. It's a pink with a violet flip in it. It's so so pretty. I love how they give off like a duo chrome, almost holographic kind of. This second shade is called From the Valley. This is a gray blue with purple accents in it so gorgeous almost like a light lavender shade the third color right here is called lucky penny it's a liquid duo chrome with a purple blue flip and a teal violet within so gorgeous this last one right here is called um, moonlit it is a vibrant purple with pink turquoise and violet glitters you cannot say that's not gorgeous and then this is just them without my flash on with the camera I'm gonna prime my skin with the Porefessionals by Benefit. We're just gonna slather this bad boy on since I've already moisturized. There, there. Can't ever get enough primer, especially right here, cause I fucking need it. And we're just gonna start blending that right in. <clears throat> the days that I don't film, I don't really wear makeup that often, but uh, I don't really like the feeling of having like a caked up face. Not that it would look caked up, it just, I feel, I always get really fucking hot and sweaty and it just like, never comes out. I bought the, um, what's it called? They're luster dusts, luster dusts, because um, a girl needs them. They look so pretty, I was gonna buy the fucking small fluff brush for the highlight, but it was sold out. So whenever it comes out of the back, I'm just gonna buy it. But the girl needs it. Did you guys see the new um, Lime Crime Venus XL palette? Holy fucking shit. I don't even know if I should swear on here. Maybe I'll get in trouble for that, but oh well. Um, yeah, it's amazing. I need that shit. Like, I need that palette so bad. Those colors are literally calling my name. Calling my name, like, Serena, Serena, buy me. I need you to get me. Like, I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to buy you. With the Kat Von D color correcting eye primer. I'm just gonna scrub all that over there. I don't know if I'm doing this the right way. I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and I'm just gonna like blend all this out. I wanna make sure. I've got a good base for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with this. This is the shade from the valley. So what I do, I take the brush and I just give two little swipes. Use my finger. I'm just gonna blend it out. Sparkle. Do the same thing to this eye. You can like just swipe it all over your lid if you want it really intense. Mm 
Now we're gonna go in with the Pretty Much palette and we're gonna go in with the shade Cool It, which is like a very raspberry, pinky shade. Taking off and we're just gonna put a little thing there. A little bit there. And just start to blend it. over again and I'm just gonna put that right here I'm gonna go in with the shade OTP and we're just gonna kind of dust that over everything Just use our finger. Just gonna put that right in the inner corner of the eye. And also over top of this. This is the Essence Lash Princess. Mascara and it really honestly works so well. The brush is super interesting. These lashes that I bought that were super cheap that I have not used ever. What they look like? We're going in with the medium shade in the milk chocolate soleil bronzer. Just to warm up the skin. This is the NYX Pale Pink. I like it because it's the color of my lips, so if it comes off, it's fine. So just put a little on your finger. I'm just gonna dust it on. And that is the whole look. I hope you guys like it. I think it's so fun. I love pops of color. I love glitter. I would wear this every single day of my existing life. That's how much I love it. So I understand if someone else doesn't, maybe it's not your cup of tea, but I just love this highlight so much. I cannot get enough of it. And it's so like, Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. It's gonna be a get to know me tag. Cause I don't think I have enough people for a Q and A. So yeah, okay, thanks. Bye guys.